almost be, it can be color, it can be height, it can be uh, your weight, it can be anything that somebody has uh, some against it they don't like. Mm -hmm. A prejudice? Mm -hmm. Prejudice? Mm -hmm. What is that? That could that be racist? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah. prejudice against, you know, like uh, like she was saying, like a nationality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prejudice. And it's one race hating another. Hating another? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't like the other race. Don't think that race should be here mm -hmm. around them. Mm -hmm. They feel that they have more power and control higher than them. They are nobody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So racism has its degrees. Yeah. 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 And I think it depends on your color, mm -hmm. your education. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, James. Uh, I would say a uh, system or a social structure mm -hmm. set up mm -hmm. to keep a particular uh, that's, right there. Yeah. that's a good one. That was a good one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. But racism has been yes. Could, could that include religion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, for a lot of because of their religion. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm glad you said it because of, so. uh, racism is even found in in religion. Yes, religion, but it has the name Christianity. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's there too. And of course, all of you are aware of that, that there are certain black stuff, that they, mm -hmm. white stuff, and True. other stuff that belong to certain groups. True. And if you're not part of that group, you, we don't, you're not, you're not part of it. It's racism. It's someone else? They think their race is serving, their religion is serving God, but it's not God's religion. God is not, to me, is not a religion. Yes, I agree with that. God is a person. Mm -hmm. And he is the creator of all. Mm -hmm. Elle, do you have something? Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I, that's okay. I was just going to say, usually racism is displayed when one group thinks they're superior yeah, to the other group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that goes on all the time. Mm -hmm. Even in with, with within the race, yeah. you can find racism. Yeah. 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 And also, I think it's, 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 you grow up. It's racism, something that's taught. Yes, it is. Yeah. You have to, your mind has to be yeah. um, indoctrinated when you're younger with a certain ideology, a certain belief, yeah. mm -hmm. as James was saying about another group or another people or, or church or whatever is indoctrinated mm -hmm. um, at a younger age and it's because of lack of exposure mm -hmm. or renewing of your mind for the believer but lack of exposure and understanding mm -hmm. but it's normally indoctrinated at a very young age um, and it's put into most of the time a child's mind Amen. and that's all you hear about a certain group a certain mm -hmm. group so you grow up with that ideology Racism. about a certain group or like you said certain people or mm -hmm. whatever. Racism. Mm -hmm. It can be and it, it can be devastating. Mm -hmm. And when it goes into the area of worship, it can be detrimental to those who worship mm -hmm. because we worship God this way mm -hmm. and you guys worship God that way. Mm -hmm. And so racism and prejudice is a mm -hmm. very detrimental to the, the Christian mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. But every believer has to settle his mind that he's going to work up, worship in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Mm -hmm. I and what you see has nothing to do with it. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for your mercy and compassion and your ability to show us you in everything that you are. You're the God of compassion, understanding, mercy, and peace. You're all those, Jesus, and we thank and we praise you for that right now. Mm -hmm. Bless all that have come, Jesus, and may the Spirit lead us and guide us into those truths that will set us free. In Jesus' name, we say, amen. amen. In Genesis, uh, uh, I like that. that Genesis, chapter 1. One, yeah, chapter 1, verses uh, 
26 and 7, right? God did a tremendous work here. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. The, the thought here is that to see how God created man, kind. Man, not mankind, but man, man itself, right? If, if we, we, we get this in us, then we could perhaps minister Christ in a, a way that he does, the Spirit desires us to minister Christ. I'm going to want to talk to the, I'm a black man, so I'm going to want to talk to the black people and tell them what God wants. And there's the other races that also have taken on some doc doxology of how they're going to minister Christ to their group. Now you find that all over, even on TV. And the book says here that, and God said, let us, when he says us, who's, who's, he, who's he referring to? God, he, the God, he, the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The God, he, the Trinity. Let us make what? Man. In what? Now, so that that'll lose race, yeah. right? God made God made man, man didn't make himself. <laughs> Look here, and so let us make a man his own after our likeness. God is a trinity, right? Mm -hmm. So that it was body, soul, and spirit. Man has that, and let them have dominion over over the flesh. The fish. The, I'm sorry. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God said, we'll make them and let them have dominion over that. But somewhere during the fall, man lost that ability, lost that gift of having dominion. I'm sure cause you, if you look back in the... Uh, Genesis, you find that God made all the animals before he made man. Mm -hmm. Now he made man, you are to have dominion mm -hmm. over them all. Mm -hmm. But because of the fall, we don't have dominion over very little. Mm -hmm. Look here. So God created man where? Mm -hmm. In his own image. Mm -hmm. And in the image of God created he male and female created he them. So there was a male and then the female, right? Yeah. And the female was taken out of the male. Mm -hmm. So let's look at that gender stuff that you see out here nowadays. And, but there's only one gender, and that's male and female, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, just man. A woman came out of what? Man. Mm -hmm. That's where you came from, Claudia, out of man. Mm -hmm. I didn't come out of you. You, you came out of man. Doesn't make us superior over anything. That's why God created them. How male and female, He created them all. And there's a responsibility that I think that the male and the female have to be in subject to God to accomplish their eternal purpose. Am I right? But Satan slipped up and feared the evil lie, and she fell for it, and we've been falling for it ever since. Told the evil lie, and been the lies have been told. I'm not blaming a woman, not not all. Cause men tell lies too, <laughs> and they probably tell some of the biggest lies. But it's all about male and female. God created them in His own image. So that and the, th the thought here this morning is racism. How can you, as a biblical person, entertain any talk, any type of thought of racism? Think about it. As a child of God, how can you think about racism, you being better or less than somebody else? Mm -hmm. Racism. Mm -hmm. Prejudice. There are Caucasians, right? Mm -hmm. But they came from what? One man, one woman. Mm -hmm. There are Africans, Asians, Indians, Arabs and Jews they all came from Adam. Every one of us came out of Adam. 
He didn't make a black Adam and a white Adam and a green Adam and a Spanish Adam. He made one man. Right? So he scooped down to the dust and made one man. Right? Let, let's, let's, let our minds hook that just a minute. I got it's one man here. All man came, all mankind came out of what? Man, that man. Now that should be that could be eth different ethnic groups, the color, the shape, the sizes. But all humans have some things in likeness. Big or small, white, yellow, black, brown. Hispanics, all over the place. They all, all came from one man. Blacks didn't have an Adam. Whites didn't have an Adam. They came from the one man that God created in the Garden of Eden. His name was what? Adam. That's where we all came from. Came through the, the Mary, birthed us into, into reality. So we stay there. We hope, hope we can deal with prejudice and discrimination though. And it shouldn't, the place that it shouldn't be found is in the church of God Almighty. Amen. What well, I'm going to church. Well, what church are you going to? I'm going to the well, where the black church at right? What the, what the black men are saying? Well, aren't you prejudiced here? I don't feel welcome over here at this white church. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong if you don't feel welcome. You don't. You feel like you're an outsider. When you come in and sit down, people move around. Or you come in and place yourself in a position where you're not near anybody else because you don't want to cause any problem. Prejudice and racism. It can be planted in your what? Mind. You can be the best little Christian but still have a lot of prejudice and discrimination about them. Certain things you don't do with other folks. News come on and you look and see what black folk did and what the white folk did. And you side with that color or that gender that's your. That's awful. Huh? Who, who are we supposed to side with? Jesus. But we side with him. God came into the world and gave his only God son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have, have everlasting life. You've been born again. You are a, a different spiritual race. You belong to God. Yeah. You belong to Jesus. You don't belong to this world system. You're not to practice discrimination. It may hit you, but you don't practice it. Have we ever did anything like try to have a relationship with others who are different color? In, 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 uh, uh, sometime in the in an actual thing, that's kind of impossible because you have to take up some of their their actions or their ideals to participate. I'm talking about believers who love Jesus. Find another believer who of a different ethnic group. And see what happens. Mm -hmm. If they love Jesus, they ought to what? They ought to love you. Mm -hmm. If you love Jesus, you ought to what? Love them. Yeah. Yeah. And let the world see that in your activity, everything you do. It doesn't matter how the other person feels, it's how Christ is expressing himself through you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How he, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. They, they act like this, but well, how you act? <laughs> How you can conduct yourself? If the spirit is in you, then the spirit should be conduct himself in the spirit of love yeah. and compassion, right? Mm -hmm. You, my brother in the Lord. Yeah. You, my sister in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, whether they agree with you or, or not doesn't matter. You have to have that mentality so that you can minister Christ at all times. Mm -hmm. Some people can't speak around other groups of people because they're so tied up in themselves. Right? Mm -hmm. Look what Paul says in the book of uh, Galatians, chapter chapter 5. Verse, start at verse, six, verse 13. He said, You, brethren, have been called into what? Mm -hmm. Liberty. Mm -hmm. You're free. What's, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. 
Right there? He said, you're free. Christ has set you up free. You're not bound up in a religion. You're not just a good little Baptist. You ought to be a good little Baptist because Christ is in you. You're a good little Presbyterian. Don't let denominationalism dictate to you who you are. Christ in you, the whole world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look what it says here. For all, verse 14 said, I'm, I'm sorry, for all, all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this that thou shalt love what? Thy neighbor as what? Thy yes. yes. Or your fellow but nearly labor as what? Yourself. The guy in the car in front of you of yourself. He called it for love, not your love, because your love falls short. As soon as you get out of the door, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Allow the spirit to love through you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And so that means a lot of forgiveness. A lot of reconciling that has to be done. Then it says, For all the law fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as what? Yes. As yourself. Now, prejudice won't allow that. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the black folks. I'm going with the Hispanics. Nothing wrong with any of that, but who is going with them? Your presence or, or Christ going with them? Be careful. It says, uh, for all that is in the law, in fulfilling the, the word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And if you bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed with one another. And so the church actually disappears when the white and the blacks are, are arguing and fussing. Mm -hmm. All they see is color. Mm -hmm. An unbeliever won't go to a certain place because of the atmosphere that's in there. Mm -hmm. I like to go to a, go some other place and the only church that's within my walking distance uh, is a is a church of, of Caucasians, mm. which it should be, should be just a church, and I should be invited into that church, not as a black or a white, but as a child of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. when you get to the point that where you got to uh, manipulate and uh, conjure up ideas how to capture people and hold them in your congregation. Instead of Christ holding them in, you hold them in because of your pressure discrimination and your actions and your motive of why you did something. I do this. I want these. I want these people in here. How about Christ? Thank you, thank you. Good hallelujah, brother. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, it says that. This I say then. Walk where. And what would occur? See the flesh. The old Adamic man. He's always present. Right? You, you still got it. Now whether he's active or not, that's that's something else. But it, you have the spirit also. You are a new man too. You got the spirit of, of Christ in you. And you got the old Adamic nature there too. But you are the one to make decisions. Who is working right now? You're the one that make that decision. Because you are a free moral agent. And God doesn't entrench on your will. Love me and keep my commandments. Right? So that's something to think about when we meet people, when we talk to people. How do we meet a, a Hispanic? We love. But is that the practice? That's foremost and it should be, but is that the practice form? No. I don't have nothing to do with it. A white person. I know what they did to my mom and dad. They said, what? Aren't you aren't you past that in Christ? You are a new creature? Aren't you past that? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If it may be in Christ is a new creature, all things, same old thing, all things that pass away, build all things become new. It's a chance to serve Christ in spirit and in truth. Do you think Christ was precious? Or racist? No. Well, 
If he's in us, why should we practice it? If we're, I'm not accusing it about our practice, but I'm saying it could be something that all of us or some of us are dealing with. Yes, yes, sister. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. The flesh desire to be with other flesh and like it is. The flesh desire to think that like other people think like you do in the flesh. But you have the mind of Christ. And Christ doesn't think like that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Do we have to go through changes? No. Allow Christ to work in you to do the work that he, he desired to do to you no matter what. And the thing about this is that Christ will enable you to get through something or to present something but we want to force it on somebody. You can't force it on a baby. This, uh, make a friend with a, a person of another ethnic group. Just, just say hi. You'd be surprised at how prevalent, how much impact that carries. You don't say I'm a child of God. I'm a, I'm you, I'm just say hi. Hi. I was at um, IHOP yesterday morning. <laughs> and this uh, look, well, came in about the same side as you, Jane, and a little girl had, had someone with I knew what it was. It, it looked like a boy. Mm -hmm. But I sat there and looked at her, and she looked at me. And I looked the way she's still looking at me. The Lord said, when you leave here, give her dad a card so that he can tune into YouTube or either of Miles. All the stuff's on the cards out here. Mm -hmm. All you do is pass them. They're, they're free. They don't cost you nothing. And so when I got ready to leave, I walked over to the house. I said, how you doing, sir? He said, hello. Because it's strange for people to, to days to walk up to someone and say hello. Mm -hmm. I said, how you doing? I said, I saw your, your, your little boy looking. He said, it's, he said, sir, it's not a boy, it's a girl. And it was a girl, but she had a little short hair, you know. And I said, I'm a pastor, and I would take one of these cards and perhaps I mean, be something we see or, or hear that will help you. He said, thank you, sir. All the prayers were full of people. And I'm not praying here. You have to listen to the Spirit. That's right. mm -hmm. The Spirit didn't say go out and give everybody a card. Mm -hmm. The Spirit said go and shake everybody's hand. Mm -hmm. The Spirit said go shake this man's hand and give the card to him. Mm -hmm. So I sat there about 20 minutes before I made up my mind what I even go over there. Mm -hmm. But it kept coming back, go over there. And so finally, I did, I did believe it came from Jesus, and I got and went over there. So a whole lot of time, the Spirit, our Spirit speak to you, but eh, it's not Jesus. It's not Jesus. You better make sure whatever you're doing, you're being led by the Spirit and not by some compromising Spirit or some, something out of, the, out of the satanic system. Just because it look good, huh? just because it look good, don't mean it's good. Sound good, don't mean it's good. Some of these ministers out here, boy, have you fallen them instead of you following Jesus? Because mm. they say the thing that you want to hear. Mm. But Jesus saying the things that he you need to hear and follow him. Look what it says. For the flesh, what? Lust. What does that mean? He want to do what the flesh wants to do, right? Right, right, right. right. Jay? Yes, yes. Flesh. Flesh won't do what flesh won't do. Mm -hmm. Some people come to church at night and look Christian, but leave and go back home, and what in the world are they doing? Being a nice a, 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 a church in the world, shake your hand, give you a hug, say, thank you, Pastor, and go back home, and what are they doing? Mm. What are they doing? I have no idea what they're doing. But if you are a believer, you should be in Christ. Should be still in Christ. Don't put on a little Christian robe when you come in here. As soon as you leave, you go out and put on a devilish robe and do something entirely different. And then when somebody sees you, I, 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 I know you saw me the other day. I, 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 oh, what you talking about? Don't you walk in the spirit all the time? <laughs> don't you? Well, in case you don't walk in the spirit, then you say, well, I'm sorry, I messed up. And don't walk in that particular area you, you were. You look at television. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. 
What are you looking at? I don't know. But God knows what you're looking at. I don't know what you're looking at. I couldn't even imagine what you're looking at. But God knows what you're looking at. You're looking at something to stimulate the spirit and help you to walk and talk that talk. Or you're looking at something to feed the flesh. Make you feel good about yourself. And what you're doing. Thank you. Verse 18 says, But if you live by the what? Spirit. What happened, Jay? Hey, what is it? You, you won't mess up. This is good stuff, bro. Hallelujah. You got to be led by the Spirit. Yes. Not by the old fallen nature that we have. And some preaching taps into that fallen nature and uses you. As a, as a steadfast person to spread that gospel. It's not about Jesus. It's about him and her and what they're about. Listen, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with anybody. But I'm, I'm listening to Jesus. Don't get hung up out here. Because you don't get, get judgment seat of Christ. God, Jesus said, don't judge anybody. Don't judge nobody. Only judge yourself and what you're doing. I will judge them when they get a judgment seat of Christ. You need a judgment to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, because I know their heart. I know their will. I know what they're about. Mm -hmm. You don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. Best thing you can do is walk in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And make sure you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Flesh is always lusting. Mm -hmm. To do something or get somebody to please you or you please somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or get a, take advantage of somebody religion, work, or whatever. The flesh always wanted to look out for itself. But somewhere in our walk, we got to sacrifice itself and allow Christ to maneuver here. Now the flesh, look at verse 19 says, we, we don't know what the flesh works on. Look here. <laughs> now the works of the flesh are manifested. They can be seen. Which are these? A believer committing adultery and fornication? Something is wrong with you. Or looking at movies or TV shows that has a lot of lust and fornication and lying, and something is wrong with you. You're not under the spirit. Paul says it right here. Now the works are manifested, which are these? Adultery. Fornication, uncleanness, and lasciviousness. If anybody's involved with that, then they're not work operating in the spirit. I'm not saying that you're not a believer. I'm saying a believer can get deeply involved with these type of activities. You look all right in the house, but in your bedroom, what are you looking at? What are you looking at on the phone? Everybody going to sleep? What you looking at? Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm saying what I think the Spirit is saying here. I've been through this stuff. I wouldn't dare look at anything that compromised Christ in my life. I've been around too long. Yeah. Somewhere in our life journey, we should get to a point where we won't do anything to, help, to, to, to create situations between the flesh and the Spirit. And God is, is like this. God is so gentle. What, 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 what are you doing? What you looking at? Why are you looking at that? What, what, what's that about? I've had him speak to me like that. I, I think it's all right. But it's not in the spirit. It's in the flesh. Everybody want to look to that. Please the flesh. Please your old adamant man. Make him happy. Make him feel good. And all you have to go back get another drink of whatever you're drinking, another dose of whatever you're listening at to make the old man to make the, make the old man feel good. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the spirit of Christ is in misery because you will beat it to the flesh and serve it to him. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Our doctrine. Look at these words sometimes. A witchcraft, mm. hatred, mm. veneers, immolation, wrath, straps, 
seditions, the heresies, good gracious, envies, envy of people, murderers. You don't kill a person outright, but you kill them in your mind. Yeah, nothing to do with it. Mm. Nothing to do with it. He just will be dead. If Christ wants you to minister, for you, for you as he dead. Because you, you didn't kill him in your own mind. You didn't kill him physically, but you killed him in your own mind. I have nothing to do with that man. I ain't saying nothing there to him. Well, if the Spirit leads you away from him, that's fine. But if you make a decision, there's something wrong here. Right? Ravelings and such a like of which I tell you before, and I have also told you in a time past, that which they that do that do uh, that do which do these things shall not in what inherit the kingdom of God. He warns you right then. Get away from these mouthpieces out here that saying things out of their mouth that are not true. They want you to follow them. You're not that lamb. You got a good shepherd. That that's that's under shepherds. I'm one of them, I was one of those who are under shepherds. All of us who minister and some of us are under shepherds. But I'm not the shepherd. And if the shepherd and I share those things to you, that the chief shepherd says you should abandon him quickly as you can. None of us are perfect. But always, always, always sharing something of Christ. Look at this. But the fruit. Mm. Mm. See, this should be coming out of, of the believer, right? Yes. The spirit. Hallelujah. The fruit. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The, the spirit has fruit. Mm -hmm. And it's not apples and peaches. It, it has fruit. <laughs> They're not plums and apples and cucumbers. It's just, it has fruit. Look here. Yeah. The fruit of the spirit is love. Yeah. Mm. Not hatred. Not malice. Not some minister of preaching and teaching against another person or another church or another race. He should be preaching Jesus. Joy, that should be the overflowing out of believers. Amen. True. But so many times, anger and frustration is what come out of us. Then yeah. we say we're a child. You could be a child of God, but you're not walking where? In the Spirit. Because the Spirit wants to manifest itself in these areas. Right? But someone that made you upset, or you're upset with another culture or another uh, ethnic group, then none of that will happen. Mm -hmm. All they running is the old Adamic nature. Mm -hmm. I ain't had nothing else to do with them. I know what they did to my parents. Mm -hmm. I, 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 them doctors. I don't care what kind. What yeah, I, I don't have nothing to do with. It. Well, don't get so carried away that you bury your own self. Mm -hmm. You may have to. That doctor may be able to use them once. <laughs> you save you. That's it. Long suffering, gentleness. Mm -hmm. How many believers talk to other believers and there's no gentleness in their uh, speech? Mm. You know you ain't doing the right thing. I'm right what you said? Be gentle. Mm -hmm. I don't think Christ hollered or screamed at anybody. Mm -hmm. He spoke with love. Mm -hmm. And love had to be the key to those things that you share. Love should, your words come out, should be wrapped in love. Not the old damnic love, but the love of Christ. The, the, that love. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's good. All right? Can I help you? Sometimes I've seen these, at these stores, uh, they put on these these acts. Mm -hmm. They look at you, then mm -hmm. turn their head. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting it. It doesn't bother me. But I'm, when I look at them, I'm not turning my head. Mm -hmm. Hope they see Jesus. Because what they really need is Jesus. Mm -hmm. What's really controlling them now is the old Adamic nature. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a part of that. No. When, the, when, the, when the sword comes, you put up Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't have to fall for that. I don't care who it is. I don't care how pretty she is. How handsome he is. What kind of car he's driving. What kind of ministry he got. I don't keep Jesus up. Jesus is my shield. He conquered everything. Death and hell and the grave. He got up out of the grave. No other man has gotten up out of the grave. 
Jesus got up out of the grave. That's the one I look to for strength and help. And I'm out of need. You need him every morning you get up. You need him. To help you walk through these miserable days. These, these planted days but set up by the system. Don't get upset. Allow Christ to use you. Long suffering, gentleness, kindness, goodness, faith, Ooh, meekness. How many times we're we supposed to be meek and we stand up? Man, I ain't got to do this. How about a little humbleness there? And Christ might have a chance to what? To appear mm -hmm. to that situation. Instead of us getting all upset because something was said that we didn't like. Mm -hmm. Well, don't allow the whole dynamic man to control you. Mm -hmm. Allow the Holy Spirit to see what this is all about. All right. But faith, meekness, temperance, get your temper down, leave home mad, go to work mad, I hope don't come to church mad because there ain't too much help for you here. Is it right? You ought to be all right. Good. Such there is no law. There's no law to hinder those things that Christ has just, Paul just spoken of. No law there. That's Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And at that, and that, and they that are Christ have what? Crucified, not crucified, crucifies the flesh, right? And with this affections of lust. I, I, I used to get mad real quick, but I don't get as mad as I used to be. So that's part of the cleaning part. I used to turn my head when somebody spoke because I didn't like them. Well, now look at them. Let Christ do the looking mm -hmm. through your eyes and then the spirit will have a chance to what? Minister mm -hmm. through the body that he has, he's possessing. Right? Mm -hmm. Christ in you, mm -hmm. the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. People can't see Jesus unless you express him. Mm -hmm. You can't express him in this, in this yeah. prejudice and discriminating world and discriminating churches. Mm -hmm. You got to allow Christ to manifest himself. And they which was in Christ that crucified the flesh and affections thereof. If you what? Live in the spirit. Oh, now, Paul said this. If. So that's a possibility of someone not living in the spirit. <laughs> and he wasn't accusing anybody of anything. He said, now if, if you're not if you're not work, living in the spirit, none of this will happen. If you live in the spirit, let us also what? Walk in the spirit. So that too we can live in and walk in it also. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Spirit will lead you mm -hmm. and guide you into all truth. Yes, amen. Right? But the flesh can lead you and guide you into what? Further mm -hmm. discrimination mm -hmm. and bigotry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whole mindset is trying to be better than somebody else. Mm -hmm. No, you, you just need to be better in Christ. Mm -hmm. He'll do all the judging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't be better than nobody else. All you do is live for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, he'll judge you and see what sort of works you have. Mm -hmm. He'll try by fire. Some will burn and, and um, see what you get. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank the you, most important thing for us to do is to what? Walk in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And uh, you'll stop dipping over there in the pressures and the discrimination. Mm -hmm. It don't make no difference how other people feel. Christ didn't care how other people felt about him. He presented God every time he went somewhere. He always presented God. He walked in the spirit. J J uh, Judas couldn't stand it. But he was with him because he had a chance to get some money. A lot of these ministries are built on what? Money. Don't be afraid to, to examine what you're giving. Let us, let us not be desirous of vain glory. That stuff that's going to get nothing. Provoke one another. <coughs> Uh, of other envy and envy one another. Don't be envying one another. Each of us belong to Jesus. Each of us belong to a part of the body. So wherever God got you placed, 
you present God in from the way you are. Huh? Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Don't, don't allow racism to become a big burden. Or a decision you made is based on somebody's car. Or somebody's education. Or somebody's car. Or somebody's house. That's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Or what they look like. How pretty they are. How ugly they are. Discrimination. What education they got. Discrimination. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Thank you, Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs and lean not to your what? Oh, no, understand. And so many times I find myself yeah. leaning, and I, then I've been with Christ, uh, Christ quite wise. So I'm leaning down. Oh, I yeah. got no bits over here. Right. Sure. Through the years, you should get to a place in your life where when you lean into the flesh, the Spirit will tell you, yes, Oh, yes, my, yes, I'm yes, sorry, Jesus. Yes, Help yes, me get, yes. get, get back Thank on back on path here. That's what I'm talking about, right. friend. Yes. Stay with Jesus. Amen. Yes. He will reward you. At the judgment seat of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's my message this morning, my friends. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that was beneficial to the body of Christ. Yeah. Yes. Any you question? In that, in that thirteen verse in Galatians, you are called into liberty, freedom, freedom. Mm -hmm. But do not use it for the case. That's right. Christ. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good point. Don't use that freedom to instigate and prove something that's not beneficial to the other believer in Christ. Mm -hmm. Good point. You know what else? Yes, I just like to say it was a good lesson. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. And another thing too, I thought, if you love Christ, you really you can't have that prejudice in your heart. You know, it your heart is soft to that kind of stuff. Like you don't meet people, you don't see that. Yeah. Like you don't, you just don't have it in your heart. Yeah, that person love Christ. If you love him, yeah. If you love me, you keep my what commandments. Right. Now you can you can you can have Christ in you, but. Not loving him to where you want to keep his command. Right. See, once you're born again, then you start growing. Yeah. If you're born again and don't grow, you could dislike a lot of things. But when you get the judgment instead of Christ, all those things will come. And he'll judge you according to your works. But as you grow and mature in Christ, by loving of a, and forgiving, you'll be surprised how well you can see the errors in, in your own personal life. You'll pick out stuff in other people's lives. But other people ask, ask you for your opinion and stuff. You give it to them properly. Yeah, you need to look at this again, brother. Get up in his face and point to You did that. No. Take him sit with him. You love him. He loves you. God loves you. To talk with that person so he can see and spirit and give witness. And, he, and the revelation comes that you're right, brother. Are you right? I'm, I'm sorry. But so many times we come at it from uh, the, the uh, Adamic nature. Mm -hmm. We know it's wrong, and we say it to a point that where the spirit doesn't have a chance of saying yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The flesh is running out of our life. Anybody, anybody, anyone else? Mm -hmm. Racism, mm -hmm. biology. Anyone ever, ever, ever confronted and had to face it? I know you, uh, you work all the time. Earl works, on the phone. I work in the gym, come over here. Step in gas stations all the time. And so you got to deal with it. You allow Christ to deal with it. Keep your hands out of it and it might work out all right. <laughs> the first time or second time, we may mess up. But eventually, if you want to grow in Christ, mature in Christ, you ask Him for direction on how to handle it. Yes, and then, like, I mean, sometimes at work, I do have to deal with it. But what I do now, I mean, it used to be so hard. It's a little bit less. Part of where I feel like I have to, you know, say something or act on or whatever. A lot of times I'll I shut down mm -hmm. just to keep from getting angry. Yeah. You know, That's like you see it and then I pray for the person too. Yeah. You know, I I try to pray for the person. That's good. You know, and myself. Uh, you know, you're
The Spirit will tell you something. Just shut your mouth. Just don't say nothing. Just shut your mouth. And don't don't give no expression of what you like or not. And that, see that person experiences that when they, when they see it in you. And crazy saying something, something, something tremendous. When they don't see it in you, if they see the same thing in you that's in them, there's no growth, no progress, nothing. But you, when you shut that thing down, then they can see more of Christ. Right? When flesh get out of the way, you can see more of Christ. When you get out of the way, then more Christ is seen. Yes, baby. <laughs> just going to share that you know I work in an office and it's a lot of it's, it's some blacks but it's mostly white people and what I've learned over the years is if you when you meet a person people are really the same and you know they 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 love their family just like we do they love their children they want you know they want a nice job and career and and we're really the same if you take the time mm -hmm. to meet them on the things that we are the same mm -hmm. about. Yeah, and good. then what that does is, once you meet them on the things that we all agree on, mm -hmm. then you are able to develop a relationship mm -hmm. with them. Good and point. then once you do that, and it does take a little sure, time, sure. but mm -hmm. then they open up about their mm -hmm. things and mm -hmm. we open up about mm -hmm. ours. And then when you when you're in then you get a relationship, mm -hmm. then it sees no color. Amen. It sees no color. Yeah, I, 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 I think about that. Jesus when he met the woman in the well. Mm -hmm. That was a sermon I heard just then. No issues. Mm -hmm. And she had an issue, but Christ didn't have any. Amen. So Christ was able to minister to her. Christ, God. Mm -hmm. And she went back to the village. I took, man told me about everything. He knew me. Mm -hmm. And so eventually, like, like what Peggy was saying, if you, if you miss, just minister Christ and take your time, because nothing can be done in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Take your time, especially if you're around a person that you work with. Uh, uh, in the gym I work with, I work out there. It's uh, a couple of guys in there. Took them time to get to a point that where we could talk on that level, and then move on. And now we're in Christ, and things are just going fine. Don't let the devil deceive you. He's a mighty worker. Amen. Mm -hmm. We good. You change your eye? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, but am I better? All right. Yeah, she uh, just uh, she's squirming a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking about the. Uh, the, the racism thing and 